Hi everyone, I wanted to make an updated video on Zettelkast nodes and what you see here is one. So because the old video is quite old and in the community we got a couple of questions on this. So first of all, what are Zettelkast nodes and how do I use them in NodePlan? So Zettelkast nodes are uh, for me are like atomic nodes on ideas I read somewhere and mostly these are book nodes but they can also be from podcasts, tweets or blog posts and I write down one atomic note per idea. So I read one idea and I describe it in a couple of bullet points and there are a couple of features which a little custom note has. For example the title uh, first of all is relatively long so this is how I usually do it because this makes it easier to find the note later through command J. For example you can type uh, type criticism and then you find uh, one of my little custom notes here and it makes it easier to search for them because once you have a couple of seed uh, little custom notes you can uh, connect to them so if you have a new idea which is similar to another idea like in this case it is the risk of being remarkable is criticism and failure and now I have a connected note early users talk about remarkable products so the Topic here is remarkable products and I have it from the book uh, Purple Cow, which is a marketing book. And you see as a source, I use a tag, hashtag books slash purple cow. And this lets you easily um, structure your sidebar with the hashtags here. So I can go to books and then um, expand or collapse it. So it doesn't pollute the sidebar too much with tags. So this is one advantage and it's easier to search for uh, the, the book notes of a specific book or podcast or whatever. So I use this, uh, but if I have a blog post, I also add the link here and a hashtag. Or if it is a podcast, I try to add the link to the episode directly. So this is the title. And you see I have also this note is linked inside the note built for a niche and be remarkable and this now I have backlinks and forward links inside a node so almost every um, Zettel custom node in uh, for me or in, in my case has backlinks and forward links and this way I can navigate through a specific topic so it doesn't have to be inside a folder in the sidebar this would be too much work if you have thousands of Zettel custom nodes and you take a couple of them every day it depends how much you read or how many ideas you have but it would be just too much friction and work to put them in different folders all the time and uh, so the linking enables you to like go through a specific topic in two directions you can also go like deeper into a topic or branch off into a different topic and you don't need to worry about is it the right folder or should I put it in a different folder and so on. I just have one huge folder where everything is in one uh, where every of my Zettel custom nodes uh, is living. So for example I click on show in sidebar and you see here are a ton of nodes. Yeah. And I kept it in a folder business. So I, I try to keep like business topics and topics which I just privately I am interested in in different folders but I recommend just to keep everything in one huge folder because the topics can branch out in any kind of direction. Okay let's continue um, about the features or characteristics of a little custom node. So I mentioned already it's atomic, it's, in, it's also written in my own words so it's easy to uh, remember, easy to read, it's very short and one idea per node. The title is very long and descriptive. I capture also the source as much as, as I can. But I never put quotes in it. I never copy text from a book because then it's harder to remember it. Uh, it's for me and what I've read about little custom notes is better to keep everything just in your words. And the other feature is I use these tags. So when I create a new node I assign it a date manually. So for example here I have 0003 slash 4C3. So the next node would be 4C4 and you can see it here the next node I have linked to this node is actually 4C4. So we can now click on this. It opens a new node with a new idea and I have two new nodes 
uh, two other nodes linked to this one, which is 4C5. And here's another one which goes deeper in theory, but I am not too strict about it, which is 4C4A. You see this is a number, then some character from the alphabet, A to Z, and then again a number, and then again uh, a character from the alphabet. So it changes this way, and you can go up 1, 2, 3, or A, B, Z, A, B, C, and so on. And then a dash, and then the actual title of the node. And I use the linking very heavily here, but I don't overdo it. Like, I don't put uh, like hundreds of links in one node. This would, again, overwhelm you. It's easier to have just a couple of uh, links in one node. And yeah, that's basically it. The You don't must have the, um, the, the IDs here inside a title. It's optional. Um, but I like it because then I can see from the link in which direction it goes, if it's very deep or very very shallow, which just started the topic or not. And then the other feature is if I show this in the sidebar, you can see it's also sorted by title now. And usually the nodes which are in, in the same line here above each other or below uh, are from the same source. So this keeps basically uh, like the book notes for a specific book in this case more or less uh, limited to the same uh, yeah, space in the sidebar. Um, but it's not a must have. It's a bit annoying to write this. I usually write it like this. So uh, let's say uh, I want to add another link. It's better example to add to this one. So this one would be quite clear. It, was, it is 4C, 4B. So I would type the brackets 0009 slash 4C4. So A is this one. And then I just type B. And you see there is already one 4B4. Ah, oh, but this is B. It's not C. So it's okay. This one, this node doesn't exist. And I can check it by looking at the auto completion, basically. And then I write the rest of the rest of the name, close the node and click on it. And this creates the node in the same folder. So I don't need to worry about in which folder I should put it. And if I change the topic, I also don't need to worry about the folders. If you have folders uh, for specific topics, then you need to worry about should I put it into a different folder? It's not it's not this topic anymore and so on. So I try to make it uh, to reduce the friction Still, the ID gives you a little bit of friction. Um, I already started with the ID, so I keep going, um, but you don't need to use it. It's optional. So I hope this answered a couple of questions, and if you still have some, write them in the comments, and thanks for watching.